Hunts, Moomoo's, and Pawpaws. Are you ready for the Battle of September? K-pop releases? Let's get into it. Yes, and this month, we are joined by Jasmine Steven. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to CCTV. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm so, I'm legitimately so excited to talk to you guys and get into it today. Like, it gotta be good. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. So obviously, we know you have amazing music taste as a producer on The Kelly Clarkson Show. But how about K-pop? How did you get into it? What are some of your favorite artists? What's the story? So um, I've been in K-pop for like, I don't even know how long. Like the group that I started with was Big Bang. Like it was it was me cool. talking about like, like now that we're here, I'm like, I can't remember the song because I have a memory of a goldfish. I apologize. <laughs> Blue but like I love Big Bang. I love like 281. I was definitely more of the R and B hip hop type of girly and boy bands. Like EXO is like EXO BTS got seven. Those those are my man. Like those yeah. are the ones that I'm like <laughs> uh, listen. Like <laughs> I'm the one who like literally used to like play like EXO and got seven to my parents and they'd be like, Hold on, hold on. And I'm like, this is the K-pop. This is the K-pop, y'all think it's <laughs> like, the K -pop. This is the K pop. Okay. Relax. <laughs> I do that to all of my friends too. Like I'm very notorious of just like letting it play in the car. And then uh -huh. people are like, I'm like, yeah, mm, these are, these are the boys you don't like. That's true. That's them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, stop. Like, <laughs> that's them. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, and also being like working at the Kelly Clarkson show, I'm a big champion of K pop. Oh. I always want to make sure we get those groups on. Like, I produced twice. I produced Eric Dom, nice. CL, Jackson Wang. So, like, I me mean, and, and K pop, we, we, we go together real bad. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is K pop fans should thank you <laughs> for the plug. <laughs> Y'all heard it. They go together real bad. <laughs> yes. Yes. And we actually met at a K-pop concert. Yeah, so crazy. it brought us together as well. <laughs> Which K-pop concert are you doing me at? Uh, in Hypen. Right? There we go. In Hypen. Wow. I was like, I know it's Goldfish. Wow. Oh, sorry. Right, it happens. <laughs> it happens. A lot going on. So, y'all, if you're new to CCTV and our pop-up episodes, every month we put polls up on our Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube community pages at CCTV Pops, and you all get to vote for three of K-pop's biggest releases of the month to battle it out in our song, video, and performance rounds. And, of course, we pick an ultimate winner. All right? So, Patreon members do get priority choice, so make sure you join us at patreon.com slash CCTV Pops. And we do have a free tier, so don't worry about the funds, honey. Just come have fun. And also, you can come hang out with us and our producers, Emily, George, Lily, Louie, and Juliet. Yes, and as a reminder, this is meant for pure fun, so please don't take it too seriously. Join in, let us know what you think of all of these songs and what wins for you. So, this month, you voted for To Use, Runaway, Hwasa's Na, and Meow's Meow. So... Let's get ready to rumble. Round one. First in the ring is Chewy with Runaway. And this was done by Andrea Rosario, Ella Curran, J.Y. Park, Davin Kingston, and Johnny Simpson. Mm -hmm. And the first round is all about the song itself. So the production, the hooks, the melodies, the vocals. So Jasmine, as our guest, what mm -hmm. do you think of Runaway? I wanted to run away. Oh. <laughs> I like it. It's kind of a, and like, I love Twice. Like I produced in the show. I know that they are hardworking girls. They really, they like give their all for their craft. But for me, the song just really didn't do anything. I literally wrote down meh on my, like my, on my shit sheet right here because it's like, it's very repetitive. It's like kind of the same melody over and over and over again. The, the 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 beat is kind of the same again. She sounds very pretty on the song. It's like it's very nice. It sits very nice in her vocal range. But besides that, for me, the song just kind of just it did nothing. It went nowhere. And I like I'm I am fortunately going to have to run away from it. It's just oh. Jesus, not my thing. <laughs> sorry, 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 Chewy. Like, listen, love you. Think you're amazing. It just wasn't, my, this song wasn't for me, that's all. You know what, that's so valid. Um, I remember hearing the song and I was sitting there like, wait, why do I, why do I, why do I know this, this melody? It reminded me so much of, um, oh, I just died in your arms oh, tonight. The night. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right. 
So I was yeah. like, ooh, okay, you're going to give us a little bit of 80s. He's going to do something. I'm going to give it something. I mean, it sounds like something from future nostalgia. Like, not in a bad way, but unfortunately, like you were saying, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, I do appreciate that they let her sing in the beginning with minimal vo vocals. Um, that was unexpected because I, being a once, she has not been my favorite vocalist. <laughs> but they do let her sing quite often, which I understand <laughs> why. But she sounds pretty good. I was watching the behind the scenes. Like, she took the direction pretty well. But she is just pleasant. She doesn't have a vocal texture that is distinctive to her. Like, with Jihyo, you could hear a lot of... She's very chesty when she sings, but she's she's the technique's good. With Naya, she's a little bit more nasally. Then you have Suyu right now. It's just kind of just not really giving much. The lyrics are giving this gentle warning of, like, if I take you in my arms, you're going to fall in love. Are you ready for that? It's giving slow burn. It feels a little dangerous, but the vocals don't go there. The production doesn't go there. And because of that, it's lacking a personality. And honestly, it's pleasant. And it does do a fine job of sounding like it would have been better for the group as opposed to a solo song. And honestly, I listened to this album and I feel like the song Lose Sleep would have been a more interesting for a release. Because we already know her for being so sophisticated and romantic seeming. And, oh, the damsel. Lose, uh, Lose Sleep has a little bit more of a... a a fun beat it's a little bit more percussive it just would have been something different and unexpected for her but this felt very much like here is your name you drive right on the uh, <laughs> but was it the speed limit or like two under the speed limit mm. oh, just poor baby but not yeah. terrible not terrible it's just yeah. Yeah. no just meh like you said yeah, for sure she definitely is not my favorite twice member sorry i have said this before in previous True. episodes she is just one that i tend to forget like she she's very beautiful and i know that's kind of what she's kind of known for yeah. more so than like the voice and stuff but i i just really had no expectations going in <laughs> for her as a that's solo valid. artist You're you giving kind of the dua lipa comparison that totally makes sense i can definitely hear it as like a future nostalgia b-side or reject uh i think when it started I was optimistic because mm, I think mm. it starts super dramatic. Yeah. Uh, it kind of kicks into this kind of 80s-esque, 90s-esque electro pop thing. But then it just doesn't really go anywhere. It is catchy. It has like an interesting melancholy to it. Uh -huh. Dang it. Oh, run, run away. Hey. <laughs> okay, cool. I was like, because I wanted to like, catchy where? Like, I don't, I don't remember how it goes. Like, <laughs> To me, catchy is like that earworm. It's stuck. I mean, I do remember it. I do remember it. Right. I only That's listened I like, to it, you know, a couple of times. I was like, you know what? Like, I can I can see. It. I take it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, dang. Um, vocally, I do think it is held back. Because if Dua Lipa is saying this, there would be a lot more texture to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chewy, Chewy just, just doesn't have much tone yeah. changes, really. She uses her head voice a little bit, which sound nice. Yeah. And there's just extreme tuning on that little run in the chorus. Oh, It yeah. sounds so bad. Like, honestly, I watched that behind the scenes studio thing, too. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Just, mm -hmm. it's tough. Like, she just doesn't have the range to kind of keep my interest for a full song. So. Oh, man, that's tough. Sorry. I have not listened to the rest of the project, though, so. Mm -hmm. I Later. will say this stuff on it's a little bit better, a little bit more fun. This feels like safe safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once, I think okay. you guys can agree. <laughs> well, let's move on to player two. Maybe we'll like this one more. <laughs> this is <laughs> Wasa with Na. And this one was done by Sai, Yu Gun Hyung, TB Hits, Amanda Rashford, Marion Rudette, Theron Thomas, Shanae Ahn, Trisha Batani, Yahara, PK, Degading Seze, Heno Mecco, and Damien. That is a lot of names. Congratulations. You haven't had a long, the rest of the names <laughs> in so long on the show. I usually get like somehow like accidentally <laughs> stuck with that. And so <laughs> this is her first release with P Nation, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. No, so no, that's size no. label. I love myself. No, I love myself. I love oh, my yeah. body. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So one of her first releases, she recently joined like in the past year or so, yeah. size label. Yeah. So, Jasmine, what do you think of Na? I love Hasa. She's mm. got some really beautiful um, other pieces that I listen to on the daily, like, that really touch me. And her voice is very it's deep, and it's got texture, and it's gorgeous. You're her. This didn't play to any of those strings whatsoever. Right. This was just 
I it's so funny when you said sigh because the whole time I was like, is this a sigh song? Because it sounds like like it. I wanted Gundam style. Like I just wanted like it just That's gave what me I said. that hundred yeah. percent. So for me, it was just kind of like Hasa. Like you just have a great voice, and she's got such great like when she sings, it is commanding. It just wasn't. This is not the song that commands. This is a fun song. This is just like kind of like. I'm like, I'm singing, I'm doing the thing. I need to make a song, but like, it sure. just didn't, it really didn't do it for me. Now I did like the production a little bit more. I like the beat of this a little bit more. This house music thing is kind of taken over K-pop a little bit more. It's really funny to me to watch the way trends <laughs> from, from here, from America yeah. to, to Korea. Yeah. But like, again, like for me, it just, I to, to me, this wasn't her strongest. It wasn't her strongest song I've ever heard her do before. Mm. You know, I, said, I truly love Hwasa. Like, I am a Hwasa fan. <laughs> I said something similar. I was like, it sounds like a female version of a sidetrack. Yeah. And I think it's because, you know, <laughs> in the beginning, you don't know what to expect. Or you get this kind of, like, mix of garage, some, like, 90s diva house moment. Mm -hmm. But then that chorus comes around, and it sounds like a jock jam. Mm -hmm. It sounds like something that Sai could have done, but maybe, like, a little pitched up. But to her defense, and like, kind of, like, it kind of leans a little bit more to what maybe Mama Moo would have done in the earlier days with her like quirkier singles. And even still, it's kind of, it dims in comparison to what they do as a whole or did as a whole before the whole like reggaeton. Oh God. <laughs> oh. Ooh, reggae, whatever they were doing. And before all of that, the quirkiness of talking about how much I love myself and like the quirkiness of the tracks, they never lean toward that whole like bouncy bass sound, but this kind of fits in there and I, in a, I guess a, I want to say it's like toned down because it's definitely not toned down. That beat is so like, yeah, you want to jail. Now welcome to the jail. You know, which is fine. <laughs> I love the, I love a good jock jam. Um, that being said, though, I did actually like that it it, it was a little quirky sounding um, because <laughs> she does have, first of all, her face is very serious looking. Her voice is freaking serious. Um, when she sings a ballad, you're like, oh, she means this. Right. Mm -hmm. So this one's a little bit more fun in terms of like her using her voice. She sings very much like not acapella but like minimal production in the beginning like um uh, chewy did and then the stuff kicks in in the second verse she's being a little bit more cheeky a little bit more flirty um and i love the seamless blend of me myself and i myself and i myself. i was like ooh, yes i do remember hearing the song and being like dang i wish i would have wrote this this is like fun and like fun and simple no i wouldn't say mindless fun simple and kind of like catchy enough for you to kind of be walking down the street and like bopping, going to the gym. This this has a little bit more personality. And I would say toward the end, that last chorus brings me back in where I, whereas if it would have stayed as the same, like one chorus with no like B chorus, I'd probably be like, okay, the song's kind of boring. I could have done something else. But at just at the end, there's a change of melody, a change of just uh, the lyric and the sentiment is still the same. Her brand is, I love myself, I'm nope. confident and I'm unaccepting of anything other than real love from mm -hmm. myself and from other people so it's on brand it makes sense but it is definitely like in size image in a little bit <laughs> like a sexy version of Psy so it's my definitely. only like yeah like critique really I don't even know Psy that well and I could tell immediately <laughs> that it was him <laughs> like I was like oh okay mm -hmm. so that's kind of cool that he has such a distinctive sound and I really only know like the couple of his singles right uh so that's great for him I appreciate the kind of silliness to it, mm -hmm. which is something that Mamamoo had, but I feel like Solar and, and Moonbeal kind of leaned into it a bit more than the other two did. Yeah. So I think seeing yeah. Kwasa do this, it's interesting for her discography because I think people just kind of know her from, you know, the Maria and, and the Twit oh, and yeah. kind of the darker, sexier stuff. Yeah. So I think it's in the breadth of her discography, it, it is interesting. You know, it shows a different side to her. The song is not really to my taste, though. Like, would I ever choose to listen to this? Probably not. But I think her execution is good. She sounds really good. Um, and yeah, like you were both saying, she has a very distinctive tone as well. And so it's kind of nice to hear her kind of on something a little bit lighter, I guess. Uh, uh. Uh, so yeah, nothing else really to add on top of what you both said. It's fine, but I yeah. do love her as well. Yeah, love Broken her. record, but there's better songs on her album. That was, uh, I'll just say that. I listened. Ego could have been that. good. Um, the title track would have been fine. There's a good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. I will Don't. say it's also, it, it is catchy though. I will say, talk, talk to me mm. nice. 
Yeah. That was like, okay, I like, I, I appreciate the catchiness, but like, I think I just like, I'm a little hard on people because I'm very like, like, I really love music. Like I went to school for music too. Like, so like, for me, it's like, get it right. Get it right. <laughs> this is why you're perfect for our show. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm just it's laughing. Right. <laughs> Go off. <laughs> All right. Up next is our final player. And it's Meow. What's Meow? <laughs> this was done by 24, Jumpa, Zikai, Claudia, Valentina. And I'm surprised I don't see some names such as Becca Boom and Teddy. Really, all I mean, Teddy probably executive producer. But like yes. at this point, like it's not like he, I did this myself with Becca. Um, so, Miss Jasmine, thoughts, concerns, prayers, prayers, <laughs> um, prayers. Um, oh, pray- oh, 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 please. So oh. I need to like fully explain my thoughts on meow before we get to them okay so meow when it first even like heard about the group it was like okay cool new group coming out from black label fine but fine the trailer for this group is them walking through an airport or some type of things with security gates oh and yeah frustrated me to no end uh, so i went into listening to the song in a in a frustrated headspace <laughs> that probably <laughs> Their, their voices sound fine together. <laughs> they sound, but again, their voices aren't, it doesn't sound special to me. It doesn't sound <laughs> like, for this to be their title track, this to be a new group, I was just very much like, this is a really nice Blackpink song. This is a really nice Blackpink song. Like, <laughs> and it was like, it's like, we're all like, I, the dance, I will get to dances later. Sorry. Oh, moving on. To the- <laughs> oh, 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 she jumped. Um, I got it. <laughs> but it was just, it's just to me it's just like an it was just for your de- debut song it just didn't do much to me like i said they sound nice together right. i like the lyrics of it because it was like it's again it's that it fits more into my space which is hip-hop and r&b mm-hmm. so i did like that i but like again for me like catchy in my ear i don't really I have- can't remember the chorus that well i can't really remember anything that well it's just and this is not just because I have a memory of a goldfish. I listened to these songs four or five times before I jumped in today, and I still can't like catch it. So for me, and it's another math. <laughs> oof, sorry, oof, oof, oof. You know, don't apologize. You're being honest, and I think I'm just gonna get it out the way now. I feel like a lot of people have been saying that the discourse on YouTube, such with the YouTube essayists, have been like, "This is just another version of Teddy, um, Teddy's tracks." And 24 has worked on a lot of. Uh, Blackpink's tracks as well. I mean, he's been with YG. He just moved over to Black Label. I love that they call it Black Label. There's not a single Black person that works at the label, but go off. Oh, um, say it T <laughs> Shade did the shade of the TV makes you feel better, but I think because of that, they're lacking certain certain sonics that would set their songs apart as opposed to being influenced by it. Why not just bring the people who make the R&B, make the hip-hop that you like, because they might bring different influences as opposed to like this EDM that we grew up in 2020, 2010. And hip hop that you grew up with when you were like nineteen something, Teddy and friends. Um, now the whole lyricism is about being braggadocious. I'm rich. I'm cool. And then the minimal chorus, and then the brand st- the dance break ending. I-, I guarantee you, there's a demo somewhere with them actually chanting on that. La- I guarantee. You. I don't know if it exists, but I'm saying that it exists. I'm telling you because the way that ending was so bare with a bunch of yeah, 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 yeah. I can't I can't imagine how many yeahs that are in the song. There's such such a lazy, lazy kind of way of presenting something, but also to their defense, I don't think the song was meant to be anything except a here's the girls. We are the girls. Like the same way the Les Seraphim came out and it was like with Fearless, they had a bump, 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 bump. They said it over and over again. Like for me, I was like, this song is a seven. It's not doing much. But what it did was say, hi, we're cool. We're giving editorial. This one is giving hi, we're cool. We can dance a lot better than our predecessors. That's um, the video. We're he, talking about the song. I know, I know. But if you think about it, the song is geared to be danceable. Like there's a there's a ballet funk thing going on. So for the whole idea was let's focus on making it a performance track. Hence okay. the we will dance better than these girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why that, yeah. that, that, it lacks creativity on some parts. Oh, but the song isn't terrible. And I think with Claudia Valentine, I think the songwriter, she's this British songwriter, Valentina, excuse me. She sings exactly the way we heard these girls sing. 
I hold your eyes and you're like this. And then, well, it's not bad, but it's her voice. Um, so I guess if no one's ever heard her sing before, it's like, wow, finally they have a voice. Because my complaint with Baby Monster was they didn't have a sound. It was just Blackpink demos. They didn't have a Becca Boom. They didn't have a Lydia Peck the way that 21 had Lydia. Maybe Claudia is there going to be their main girl. I don't know, but maybe it might help because the girls, in terms of vocal tone, kind of kind of similar. But I will say there's two of them that made me go, oh, hang on. Her little, a little, a slight little trill. I will not give a whole run, but a little trill. Uh, it was not in the one who sings the intro verse uh, and the first part of the chorus. And then Kawan, she sings right after. <laughs> there's some falsettos in there, which I appreciate because we were not getting that from the uh, Black Pink and them. And Baby Monster, they can sing, but they're getting Blackpink in them songs. So, eh. I like the bassiness of it. I like how, like, in your face it is. And so I do appreciate that the rapping seems secondary. Like, it's in verse two, but they went right back to singing, and I was like, hey, please <laughs> do not have the second verse be all about raps. So I guess in terms of trying to separate them from Blackpink, it's not the best job, but it's not the worst job. And also having Baby Monster kind of like a couple months uh, debut like before them, it doesn't sound too much like Baby Monster sounding like Blackpink. It just sounds like Blackpink in the 2024 kind of thing. You know, like, yeah, I'm trying, y'all. I mean, they tried. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the potential in the song. Yeah. But I don't actually like the song, really. Oh. Um <laughs> I feel like it's, again, I feel like it's been the same for all three of these. That it, <laughs> it starts off kind of strong or at least intriguing, right? So this oh, one, yes. you have the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it yeah. a very kind of like build yeah. and, and for the intro. Mm -hmm. But then it just gets repeated. And then the song just doesn't climax the way that I want it to. That's because like you said, it has that built-in dance break, which just feels so done before. <laughs> and like you said, <laughs> that's clearly meant to be performed. But that doesn't mean I want to listen to it then, you know? Uh, uh, I do agree with you on the track, though. I appreciate how heavy the bass is. There's a lot of empty space in the production as well, so it makes kind of every little production element stand out. I think the pre-chorus is probably my favorite part, just where it gets a little twinklier. There's some nice <laughs> yeah. rasp and kind of who's <laughs> yeah. singing there. But then the chorus doesn't, like, give me the full energy that I want it, it uh, to. I guess that they were just trying to keep it. one word over and over again? Yeah. And, and just trying to keep, they were trying to keep it cool, quote unquote, yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <There you> go. <laughs> yeah. I wanted it to be more than that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Um, I don't know how many groups debuted this year, but I think a lot. Let's say I like their debut a little bit more than, um baby monsters like like mm, she better than batter up better than batter up yes or no this i agree one, better than batter up i understand better than batter up oh, okay. <laughs> all right i think that's what teddy was trying to do at this point he was like as long as you don't come up with that <laughs> <laughs> oh right. gosh that being said yes who takes the song round for you jasmine i'm gonna give it to wasa i'm gonna give it to i too am giving it to wasa i will also give it to wasa i will say meow was in like second but then it just didn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Round two. Moving on to the second round, which is our video round. All right. So taking it back up to the top with Chili's Runaway. Okay. So, you know, for me, I just want to get this out the way before one skid in my butt. I'll, listen. She looks gorgeous. She looks beautiful. The hair, the makeup, the gowns, beautiful gowns, all the gowns. <laughs> <laughs> now it's out of the way. Okay. Once you get past all of the image of her, uh, I appreciate that the video actually leans toward that dangerous aspect of falling in love that I was mentioning before. Um, like you get a little obsessive. Like, I mean, dreams about the person. Like it's like, you know, deja vu and, and places like, I like that it was really dark too. The video was dark. She's dancing silhouetted. She's dancing in a in a in a parking lot or a basement of some scary place. Either way, it just seems really creepy. There's a red <laughs> string of fade. It was it, it was just very strange. She's hugging and touching the man, and there's blood and not a lot of blood, but just enough to be like, oh, she's dangerous. Watch out, femme fatale. Now, aside from that, the creepy aspect of the video, great. The colors, wow. The color grading wow the lighting wow amazing beyond that the pleasant aesthetic the video didn't quite hold my attention 
Uh, it seems like the people who made the video did understand the assignment, but kind of stopped short of actually pushing that button that either her actually causing this person harm. <laughs> and I feel like I'm, uh, it's just stopping short of actually kind of being like, yo, she's trouble. As opposed to like, I'm just really pretty and I'm perfect and we're going to have a happy <laughs> life together. I'm scary. Oh, pretty, pretty. I'm scary. <laughs> I just go for it. Like, lead into it. I think it's just, again, it's not pushing the button she's so beautiful she can get away with, she can get away with anything at this point yeah. she could sit there and be like oh yeah and be like oh my god she could have killed she could have off the man and people would have been like wow an amazing video and it could have been, been amazing iconic. it would have been man eater thank you come on mm -hmm. come on mm -hmm. oh yeah shit. i just i think whoever did this concept they were like okay she's kind of known for just being super beautiful and she has this kind of blank doll face that everyone loves so let's just kind of capitalize on that and we can make it mildly creepy so she can just use her blank expression and it works <laughs> you ain't right that's what i get from this because like you don't really yeah it just doesn't really go anywhere like what is she actually feeling what are her intentions with this uh, man no. like why uh. is she randomly in a field of flowers for three seconds at the end oh yeah yes like i just don't understand what anything had to do with anything like why is she dancing on the stair on the red carpet of this like theater oh thing? yeah like none of oh. this connected at all i did enjoy the scene uh of her in the empty room with like the backlit windows yes. at nighttime yeah that was it like i just don't get what they were going for like she and she just has no facial expressions they were, trying to do sun, they were trying to do sun me full moon. It was trying to get creepy like that, but it just, just fell short of it, I guess. I don't know. Like, there's just no fire, oh, you know, in yeah. her at all. Like, it just yeah. feels, I just get nothing. Oh, poor baby. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. I, I enjoy that there was actually an actual member of the opposite sex in the video. Oh, my um, God. Yes. I love that because it wasn't like inferred, like, oh, like, but it, she was touching on, like you said, touching on him, feeling on him. I love that. And like you said, I love the red string of fate. I love all that stuff. But to me, again, it was it's was just mad. Like, it's just kind of like, and you guys are saying it's creepy. I, I didn't even get the creep factor. I was like, oh, look, blood. Oh, blood. <laughs> okay. what are we doing what? and then like it did just like in her dancing like i do love like that she was dancing and then she was i believe she was dancing with seven members or eight it was like i i, I love when the solo acts do dance with other members because it's almost kind of like an illusion like alluding mm -hmm. to their, their group i love those moments that happens with any solo artist with but like it was just and her outfits were kind of again very like it was just romantic and flowy. It was just like if yeah. you had taken the vocals from that song and put a different song on top of that music video, nothing would have changed. You probably would have liked the music video more, honestly. Oh. So, you know what? They have you right. And <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't. It just. I hate that you're like, right. Again, oh no. Gorgeous girl. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. But gorgeous, gorgeous gal. It just gal. <laughs> it wasn't giving me. It wasn't giving me what I I needed from it. So. Oh, man. Interesting. You know, oh, I can go on about Chewie, but I got to move on to the next, which is Wasa. Mm -hmm. All right, Wasa. Now, <laughs> uh, this video was given all types of sophisticated and demure woman in the beginning, all right? And then they just switched up. But again, I think it all just ties into Wasa's um, brand. And also her own personality. She works the camera, like I said, in that like really flirty and cheeky way. She's good at that, but she's also good at a good smolder. Honey, she can give you eyes. She can give you, you want me. I might want you, maybe, possibly. But I know you want me. She'll give you that. And you can see that you can feel that from her. Very confident. Um, I love the camera work in this video. It's following her. She's constantly on the go. She's not chasing the camera. The camera's trying to keep up with her. And you can yeah. tell it by the motions. Like she's walking forward. And I, either the track, the way they're tracking her is just very cleverly filmed um there's a little slight bit of chaos in the strobing of the scenes like the quick cuts um in the pre-chorus here and there um but like the whole idea is just to keep your attention she center every single freaking frame too so, like she's not like off no, there's nothing dirtying up the shots except her and i'm like wow whoever did this video was like we're gonna keep it really simple we're gonna go to paris and we're gonna this stuff all the way up um i think the video does a good job as like showing that you can be a lady and still do something crazy and fun because people, especially women, are not just one thing. And considering what she's went through the past year with her playing with her her poom poom 
at the at the university. I'm pretty sure she. <laughs> oh, you didn't know about that. Okay, we'll talk about it in a second. But yeah, so she was playing with her boom boom at the college. <laughs> And they find her, and she was upset about it. That's why I love my body came out, and then now she's like, "Ooh, you could be being a little crazy." And in the video, she's giving it to you. She's getting kind of a little down and dirty with the dance moves. She's giving you elegance. She's giving you it's, it's giving, you know, yeah. without her actually having to <laughs> play with a boom boom, you know. So she's. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, again, gorgeous gowns, gorgeous gowns, but also great personality. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Do you want to explain the boom boom thing? Oh yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I'm it's like, you can't just say, oh yeah, she was playing with a boom boom in the university, and be like, all right, thanks, friends. <laughs> <Okay. on." laughs> all right, so <clears throat> you know how K-pop idols perform at festivals. Hwasa was invited to a festival. I cannot remember which college it was, but while she was there, she was singing, and she went like Little Kim debut album style. And was like kind of patting the pum pum a little bit, and they were like, the parents were like, nah. The PTA of college students were like, nah, get out of here. What you what you doing airing the pum pum? So they were like, nah, since you can't do that. So she got in trouble, and people were like, oh, I can't believe they did that. But at the end of the day, it's a college. If they said they don't want the parents are paying for the kids to go there, if they don't want to pay for the pum pum, honey, can't be mad at the pum pum getting getting patted, <laughs> getting patted. <laughs> So, yeah, she was like, she was a little bit kind of got attacked for that because people were like, wow, she's so raunchy, the satin, the third. But again, I understand the parents are like, listen, I did not pay for my kid to sit there and have to watch this girl. Pat him. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, that being said, that's the situation. Um, but, yeah, she, she she was feeling herself without actually having to feel herself. And that's my point. What's <laughs> up? Well, uh, boom, boom, 2024. Who knew? Yes. <laughs> Oh, yes, boy. that should be the name of the next single for sure. Oh, yes. Um, first off, she definitely has the charisma that Chewy does not. Like the uh, natural yeah. X factor. Because like you said, I never took my eyes off of her. And a lot of that is, of course, the way that they filmed it and edited it as well. But there's a ton of dancers around her. And I don't think I ever looked at them once. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Unlike Chewy, during which I did look at the other dancers quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, there's always that. But, um, yeah, I appreciate how kind of classy she looks. And I like that she never, I don't know, she kind of keeps the quirkiness to a minimum, which almost mm. makes it more quirky. Mm-hmm. Like, she doesn't do any yeah. crazy faces. She doesn't do anything crazy, like, dance move-wise either. She keeps it all quite contained. Mm-hmm. But then... Because the song is kind of quirky and even, I don't know, she's still, there's like a cheekiness to it that it's I like, appreciate. It's um, like uh, Audrey Hepburn with the croissant. Like she's wearing a gown, right? Yes. Croissant. It's just quirky enough without us, you know, mm-hmm. her spilling the crumbs on her shirt. It's just, yes. just I get it. Yeah. Yeah. And totally. I think it's funny with some of the public areas. Like, for example, when she's in the park, you can see all the people in the background that are just staring at her as well. Yeah. Like, I kind of love that they didn't just kind of shut down everything. Yeah. They, they let that kind of happened because it is kind of weird like to see them randomly doing that in the middle of Paris. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I thought this was fun. This made me like the song more than when mm. I had just listened to it. Yeah. Same. I really like this music video as someone who like, I love Paris. And so seeing it, it anyway, I love that she had like had a burger and like had like, like you said, the quirkiness of having like mustard on her cheek, like in this really elegant, big floppy <laughs> hat. Yeah. And then like drinking like a cup of tea, like on a fuck, like on the top of a rooftop in Paris somewhere. It was just like, to me, it was just, she was just, it was just fun and it was free and I really enjoyed it. Like, and like, when you listen to the song, you're kind of like, uh, but when you watch the, when you watch the video with it and she's like, like me, myself and I like in doing the dances with it, it just like, you're like, oh, okay, it's all connecting. It's all like, it's all making sense. I loved her outfits, like that polka dotted, um, that polka dotted, oh, yeah. uh, belted was, I don't know, unitard, I don't know what it's called right now. My brain is, doesn't work, you know, <laughs> uh, love that. I loves her. I just like, it made me go like, oh, this girl really also loves herself and she loves Paris and she wanted to put the <laughs> yes. most together. So very much a fan. Okay. Moving on to our final player and it's Miel. I'm trying to say with an accent to, because it's V, Miel. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I just don't understand. Like, is it just because they want it to be quirky with the two Vs? Yeah, because you okay. know how sometimes the, the V replaces the A in certain things? Sure. So yeah, it kind of makes that, you know, all right. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So What'd I you will think? say that the video is very typical YG, but it, it the whole like the whole theme of the video seems to be almost relatable. Almost. Almost. And I mean this to say like in the past, what? Black came out what like six years ago. Blackpink to Baby Monster has all been we look like we're wearing designer. We look like we're on a set. We look like you can't afford us. This one here is giving cool girls at school, like cool rich girls at the school, but it's still like, hey, we all sit them. We saw them at lunch today. It wasn't like they're in the, you know, it was like they're wearing uniform. They're all wearing like public school girl clothes. They're all out in the streets, you know, getting real gutta, you know? So <laughs> <laughs> we were together and then you were like, the truth. I said, the South, <laughs> okay. but then no, but you see the subway, right? Their hood, because oh, you not. Know, okay, I'm saying this because you know how YG gets, or a lot of K-pop videos get when they're trying to translate their urban scene to their very much non, quote unquote, typical urban communities. Okay, I'm not saying they don't got the ghettos. Y'all got ghettos out there too, but it's just it doesn't look like New York. But they somehow <laughs> created it. But on top of that, I don't like how sterile it looked because everything was black and white like an insane asylum. <laughs> yeah, I was like, is this a prison? <laughs> <laughs> and all the crazies are like, yeah, you know, this wasn't, I don't know. <laughs> you know, but my thing is with this video, all jokes aside, though, um, at least they look believably, believably styled as young teen girls from like age, like a 17 to like 19. They look believable. It's not like they're wearing freaking corsets and shorts and fishnets and boots and looking like they belong on a stage performing after four, you know, four or five years of being like out. Um, I do believe that the video, much like a lot of K-pop uh, videos now, are, are missing the, the joke at this point. Your, your song is called Meow. You got a giant paw with little rhinestones and chains and charms as your freaking logo. And you guys didn't think to put more <laughs> more cats. I'm not saying be like, cat, like Taylor Swift Cat Lady, but like, why are we not kind of just sitting on a table just being a little cat like or having like cat like shadows or something yes. that's the black Thank cat you. personality is a hot term on social media. Why are we not leaning more into that? Why are we not like just play with it? I'm not saying be stupid and like wear cat suits and freaking dance around like a bunch of jerks. But it, but I would have loved like that. that maybe instead <laughs> because you brought us Sasquatches, <laughs> Yetis, if you will, Wookies. whatever. <laughs> Yeti? He said, well, he's. <laughs> yeah, Wookie. And they're Wookies. bringing them burritos. It would have been better. Maybe it would have been better if they were cats. Giant cats. It would have been so cute. And on top of that, it would have been a branding thing. You had Meow. You had mm -hmm. how many members? X amount of cat suits. There you go right there. Now that each of the girls has their own mascot. It's cool in K-pop now. You could have been selling kitty cat toys at this point. But here I am in my mama's basement and not know what the hell I'm talking about, apparently. <laughs> but, <laughs> I needed more Hello Kitty. And it was just giving a little bit like Hello Gritty, you know? Oh. And I think that's where they kind of missed the mark. It's too busy trying to be cool. As yeah. opposed to just like, yeah. you know. Well, we had just released <laughs> our video or our episode reviewing Little Mix's solo debuts. And we did talk about Jessie Nelson and kind of her oh, attempt yeah. at being hood <laughs> in her Gotta... music video. And this just reminded me of that because that's just oh. been in my head. Because <laughs> they're so young that when yeah. they're trying to make these faces with the mm -hmm. teeth and the, you know, with the... Like, I don't uh, care. Yeah, it does not, it's not convincing to me. Mm. Overall, I would say mm. there are moments where they look a little cooler. Like, for example, in the second verse when they're in that prison cafeteria, <laughs> you know. Um, Stop. Right. And they're just a little more relaxed about it instead of trying mm -hmm. to make all these, like, hard faces and stuff. Yeah. But, I don't know, just, like, them on the basketball court with the graffiti and then the subway station. Like, it just feels so done before and just yeah. not convincing at all. Yeah. Um, and then the final dance break, surely they could have come up with something more interesting than oh being on stage in all white. Like, what was oh that? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Obviously, the scenes that did stand out to me were them on the giant stuffed cat. Yes. And then the random forest Wookiee <laughs> moment. Like, I yeah. wanted more random crap like that that had something to do with cats in some way. Yeah. Like, it makes no sense to me that they didn't lean into it like you were saying before. So I really don't understand yeah. What they were thinking. Where's the disconnect? <laughs> so we opened to four these five girls mm. and slow pad were showing each one, right? Mm. Meow 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 is going on in the background. Mm. Then all of a sudden beat drops mm -hmm. wide. Party? 
It's <laughs> just like <laughs> when I see that, I'm just like, oh, oh, okay, no, right. right. <laughs> um, and then it was just like, oh no, never mind, party. Now we're sitting on top of a tray with shakes. Oh, you're so- oh, okay. Uh, and then I'm just like, oh, now we're in the sub. I was just like. Oh my god! Like, you're okay, so you right. had the white psych for three days. You <laughs> went through and changed it out every 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 couple hours. You found a bunch of girls in the street, and not and then also, and I know this is stupid, but this is something that is like if no. you're gonna have a group that is once you want it to be a group that all people look at and stuff like that. That party scene, I needed to see more people of color. There are people of color in Korea. You could have went out and found them. I know about seven of them, and I could have sent them your way. So You're ridiculous. It's like, <laughs> you don't, like, you can't, like, and especially because it's a hip-hop R&B song. You're trying to be cool. You're trying to be hood. Like, I saw a half-black, half-Korean girl, and I was like, so there's one. There's actually half. Apologies. Wait, I know hang that's on. Fun. Thing. Hang on. But, In their defense, they had an orange person, that tiger woman on the right. <laughs> she was there. <laughs> Oh, damn, do I'm sorry, no. But, but you're just, right, yeah. For me, it's just like it's just another like they they have come from they're coming from like a long thing. Like girl groups who are R and B and hip hip hop, they come correct and they come hard. They come from a lineage of two any like two any one. Even I'll give you Black Pink. Like they come. Correct. That's all I'm asking you to do is come correct, come hard. And this just was, it was just a, a shot and a miss. And I hope that they, I hope that they, I hope that they put out something else that can surprise me. I'm always open to that. But like, I am just like, meow needs, you need to go back to the kennel, baby. You got kennel cough this time. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. Holy, oh, okay. That mm. being said, what a video went in for you. I think there might be a clear winner here, Shan. <laughs> What, what would you what would you pick? Am I speaking on behalf of on behalf of the of the trees? Am I the Lorax? Shall I say it for all of us? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. For me, for me, I will give it to Hwasa, but I will say that Meow is a sec is is second. The second. I'll give him a little oh dang. I, I don't need to watch that one again. Hwasa wins like by Hwasa, a mile. For yeah, me. by yeah, by yeah, yeah. by wow. Yeah, Hwasa right. wins by a mile for me too. Of yeah. putting Yao even close to Hwasa at this point feels like disrespect to her. It's like <laughs> it's like winner. And then you gotta wait a couple of days and then mention yes. yeah, oh, gotcha. That's right. Okay. Like, yeah. Like five to seven business days. Like but it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's valid. I agree. I agree. I agree. Moving on to the final round. Round three. And this is about the performance and the choreography. Mm-hmm. Chris, kick us mm-hmm. off. What do you say? Okay, back to Chewy. Chewy. With Runaway. Uh, okay, I said earlier, she just has never stood out to me just as a performer either. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I was actually kind of curious to see kind of how she would do on stage. Unfortunately, it was basically what I expected. Sure. She really doesn't have much of a natural stage presence. So I will say the choreography that she was given fits her. Like uh. it is very feminine. It's very pretty. There's a lot uh-huh. of like neck and hips and flowy arms and flicks <laughs> and stuff. Um, <laughs> you know, she's like kind of tall. I don't know. She's like lanky. Yeah, no, I don't it's know. very it like lean fits. and le- like yeah. leans into this and like, you know, smell yeah, looking. There's yeah, some no, like some fun. fast arm like posing moments in the second mm-hmm. verse and stuff that she executes well. Uh I say this a lot with K pop, but there are moments that are way too fast uh, in this yeah. for uh. no reason because she can't even like for example, those three hip rolls and stuff, like oh. all of it just feels like a little rushed. There are just moments where it feels like she's supposed to kind of just breathe into things a bit more or flow uh, into things old. a bit more. And she has to cut it off to kind of go on to the next move. Um, and there were a few just awkward dance moves in there for me. Like there's like a weird shoulder roll moment where they're Stop. like squatted down. <laughs> they're like, there's just like pushing down moment yeah. that doesn't fit the rest of the choreography because it's yeah. like a little too hard hitting. So I, I'm just a little confused by some of the choices that were made here yeah uh but yeah as a performer she just does not capture my attention like i watched the dance practice i watched multiple of her music show performances the studio tune one i end up watching her dancers more than i watch her for almost all of them yeah so i don't know she just doesn't do it for me i'm sorry <laughs> yeah <laughs> jasmine what do you think 
Um, I think that there are certain people who can be solo artists, and I think that there are certain people who could be or should be in a group. Yeah. She just belongs in a group. I think that she's just stronger there with her members beside her. And I feel like maybe she's even happier with yeah. her members behind, behind, beside her. It's, she's a beautiful dancer. She's a beautiful girl. Like we, like we can't keep reiterating that this girl is beautiful. Like I am looking for special. I'm looking for twinkle in the eye. I'm looking for, I have something that is unique and that she just doesn't do it for me in that way. I love her, though, when she's performing with her girls. And maybe that's because I can look at other members once I've grown bored of her. But <laughs> it's just I like it's just not like she just doesn't she doesn't have it for me. she don't have it for me. Uh, you know what? Um, beautiful, beautiful gowns, be- beautiful gowns, <laughs> um, beautiful <laughs> gown. Um, that's the I- answer for everything. I think we need to put that Aretha Franklin clip in there. <laughs> that was a bit of a um, one. Okay. Once, as a fellow once, I think we can all say she's grown as, as a performer. We've seen her come from like the whole, you know, staring into the distance, looking a little bit like, oh, it's my turn. But now she's getting a little, she started to smile a little bit more. Um, she was getting criticized. Um, I remember like seeing some what? people. I'm sorry. What? Not smile a little more. <laughs> <laughs> not that being like she's smiling a little more we should clap for that like do you hear her? i know i know but when you're coming when you're coming from when you're coming from this you know like staring like when you're coming from the staring it's gr- look difference she was different. <laughs> well that oh. one's always <laughs> Okay, okay, think of it from this perspective, right? So yeah. JYP has always tried to make her the sexy one. When yeah. she was like 16, they had her in a commercial dancing in an elevator with a man, Lord knows how, how much older than her. On um, the 16 show, she was dancing a little bit more suggestively. Like they never had her as like cute and pretty and da 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 And for this, I guess they're leaning more like, since that didn't work, the sexy thing did not work. They're doing the elegant thing and she looks that way. And I think when the song calls for her to be a little bit more like breathy and more like into the camera and more like, you want me, don't you? You want me? Yes. Yeah. But when it needs that kind of like that, the force, I'm going to say force, the force that is present in the chorus, she doesn't give it with the face. It's yeah. still the same kind of, you know, she doesn't know how to smile. And that's the problem. She's telling someone to run mm-hmm. away before they fall in love and is not, she's not looking like you, you know the Kubrick stare. She's not given that. And she needs a, yeah, you did it just now. Yep. <laughs> yes. Oh, <yes. laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, wait, I will say there's just she's just not comfortable. Like yes. I, there, there's even yeah. this video that they put up where she's in a dog costume performing <laughs> this. And I was like, oh, like maybe she'll like be have some fun with this and, and you know, do something else. She smiles a lot. You yeah. know, and she does like maybe like a little wiggle at one point, but I was like, she's just, it's just not loose. Like she's not herself. No. Like it's just, yeah, there's it's such tough. a huge barrier. Yeah. It's, it's so weird because like her personality with her members, she's a little bit more fiery. Like she's the one that they call kind of like a savage that she's so mean, not mean, but she kind of like gently bullies her undies kind of thing. So I just, it just sucks watching her get on the stage and then like not portraying that. And although she has grown, a little bit as a performer in the past X amount of years, I feel like she loses energy as the performance goes on. And that's my biggest issue. It wasn't consistent energy. Like I could, like with Joy from Red Velvet, Joy starts to get tired by the, by the first chorus. This is kind of, <laughs> I've seen a girl lie. You know, the nostril breathing that people do, they're like, Joy gets to that. That's what Sue is kind of giving by like, you know, <laughs> it's not so shady. But my point is, beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. It's just not <laughs> super consistent. It's not consistent. I'm so sorry, Chewie. So mm. Oh, I will say, though, I do appreciate there is some floor choreography where they yes, go on and the do dance this, break? like, knee thing. Yeah, the little I'll dance break it. moment. I'll yeah. take it. Some effort was put in there. <laughs> yeah, I like the little dance break. Okay, in her defense, yes, you're right. We okay. need to start asking these girls, is this truly, like, be- being a solo, <laughs> is that truly what you want? I think it's oh. just, like... We need to ask them because it's okay if someone just wants to be in the group. It's mm-hmm. okay. Girl. People thrive that way. Like, 
she clearly doesn't want to be a soloist. Someone clearly was like, you're going to do this, take this song, sing this thing, do this thing, show up at these places. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, she just got to write uh, out her contract. Yeah, All she's right. like every day. Like, Big <laughs> oof. Oh my God. No. You know, I, and, okay. Also, in her defense, I will say, I liked it when she looked a little bit like, like the black hair, black dress. When she looks like she is dangerous, it's certain. When she looks like a princess from like a Chinese fantasy, that's when I, it just, she, I think she wants to do something, but it's just not the proper elements, you know? So I'm then, trying. she might be great at acting for K dramas. Like, yeah. So there I'm are multiple again. avenues. I just think that so being a solo performer is just not, it's her. not it. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. The whole Japanese, Japanese line in one group. I, you should know the Chewy to somebody with somebody for sure. Yeah. Thanks. All yeah. right. Moving right along. Yes. <laughs> right along. Hwasa. Okay. First off, She's giving us live vocals, which I uh, always appreciate with the Mama Moo Girls. Uh, I will say, though, she's using a handheld mic in all these performances. Mm. And clearly the choreography, they didn't think about that when they did the choreography. So when they there ever? are some weird moments that she has to let the backing track take over and stuff where she has to like use both arms. So I don't know. That's just like an, an odd thing that I feel like they could have adapted to. But whatever, it's fine. Um Otherwise, though, I actually really like the choreography for this. I think the uh-huh. interactions with the other female dancers are really fun. You can kind of feel the chemistry there. There's a ton of dynamics in all the pictures and the formations. Uh. And there's actually a lot of freedom in the movement that every dancer is actually given. Like, they're each kind of giving their own way of, like, just punching the air. Or, like, they're kind of each doing their own thing for certain grooves. Uh-huh. Uh, so that's just fun to watch. Um, my favorite part is the triangle ripple at the start of the post chorus with like the, the foot flick and and then all the stuff kind of all going like in a triangle line. (laughs) Uh, yeah, she's a great performer. She makes it so much fun. The little butt jiggle (laughs) dance thing. I mean, it's memorable for sure. I'm going to remember that forever. (laughs) She said, Bese me culo. I can't pat my pum pum, Bese me culo. Yeah. Listen, I was just thinking that. She's like... (laughs) If I can't touch the front, I'm going to touch the back. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's just a smart performer as well. Like, she knows how to execute and give you just kind of a ride throughout. She yeah. gives kind of 50% with some moves. She goes 100% during, like, the more dance break moments. <laughs> she's just smart with the way she performs. And it does feel very natural for her. And that's mm-hmm. even more obvious when you watch her right after Chewy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Do we get she on the ground? We kicking her still. Or <laughs> well, I saw I was gonna perform. Mm-hmm. Day, night, rain, sleep, snow. This well, is true. I was going to perform. Like this is what she does. She's a veteran member of the K-pop community for a reason. Mm. Like, and you can tell that she does love it. She gets a lot of pride from it. She gets a lot of joy from it, which is something as I, as a viewer, I want to see you have a good time performing it. You having a good time performing it is gonna make me love it. And love you even more. So like watching her do it all that stuff, and even like her little smirks that she does, especially when she she does the butt thing, I'd be like, <laughs> I can watch her perform anything, anything at all. Like I just watching her is just like she just gives masterclass on a class K-pop. <laughs> what a thing to say. You know, I was like, Mama Moo felt like brown eyed girls, but brown eyed girls couldn't figure out the solo thing. Yeah, and it yeah. always irritates because I was like, damn, y'all could sing. Y'all got a look. Y'all, I know each and every single one of you, they just couldn't figure out the solo thing. Mama Moo has been able to do that. And Kwasa has been so consistent. Like ever since she was like, what, Mr. Ambiguous when they first came out, she's been the same person. If not more, she's more confident now. Like I watching the performances, I think, <clears throat> what you were saying with, uh, with the dancers, Chris, like, yeah, they look really good behind her, but I'm looking at her. I'm uh-huh. looking at them kind of mm-hmm. see what else is going on around her to figure out what the picture is. Like, oh, shoot, I should be trying to figure out what's happening here. But for the most part, I'm looking at her. She gives me what Hyanna used to give before all the Lord knows what. But, yeah, Hyanna used to grab her grab her little boop-boops, you know, kind of give a little cheekiness. Like, I don't care what you think about me. And Kwasa has that energy. And I love how in each of the performances, something's just a little different here and there. It's not the same rehearsed face, which has been a problem with K-pop girl groups. Um, it is it is tough performing over and over again, doing the same choreography and then figuring out what new things to do in each one. But she does. And I think one I would say the most annoying outfit she's worn was like the brow dress for the video because she has to sit there and swing that little thing around and pray to God she doesn't step and trip on it. 
Mm-hmm. And the fact that she's moving it around and d- it just shows her her skill, shows how confident she is in the dress. Because that dress was tight, honey, and it was like it was coming up. My, my yeah. So, um, it. I think I think watching her, like you said, made me like the song even more. I liked the song before. I was like, I like this video, and I watched her perform. And I was like, Yeah, that's 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 a star. Go off, girl. Go off, girl. <laughs> All so, right. Yeah. Moving on to our final player, we have Mio. Meow. Meow. Oh, no. I keep wanting meow. to say. It's Meow. Yeah. It's Meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> okay. I actually think this choreography is pretty great. Uh. I think the way they use all the different cat <laughs> yeah. things, it Just all works. works. Yeah. All the different ways they did the claws. And the like, the wipes, it, like it's everything, like mm. super, super effective. None of it feels too, um, I don't know, it doesn't feel too forced, mm. and none of it feels super dumb either. Like it's not like they're given these <laughs> yeah. like really cutesy animal moves, and it's like embarrassing for them to do. It <laughs> actually all looks really cool. So props to the choreographers; they 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 really did a good job with all the dynamics, and mm-hmm. and they also balance it all with kind of more hard hitting stuff as well. Uh, so just yeah, just a lot of textures in there. Uh, So I think the choreography is awesome. Mm -hmm. I think, again, kind of what I was saying before about their facial expressions. I watched a few performances, the ones where they were kind of just having more fun with it Mm -hmm. uh, and actually just being able and being allowed to just kind of smile a little bit. That reads a lot better than them trying to do these like aggressive faces as they're like doing these hip hop chest moves and stuff. Uh, Because again, they just seem really young and it just doesn't read authentic to me when they put mm. on those faces. So, yeah, I think that might be something that they just grow into. But you can just tell, like, the, this song doesn't really represent the five of them and their own tastes. Huh. I feel like. Like, this really feels like such a huge example of K-pop and how it's like you're just put into this group and you're given the concept and you just have to execute it. Mm. And I don't really see, I don't feel the full connection Yet, but looking at it just big picture, like when I watch the dance practices and stuff, I think the actual choreography is great. Mm-hmm. So I enjoyed it, but I just don't, I don't know, the actual performance of it, not fully there yet for me. Mm-hmm. I was actually, I was actually slightly impressed by these girls when they performed. <laughs> I was just like, because they are like, they're new groups that they can use, like sometimes you can see a little nervousness on their face or whatever, but like they came to play, they came to like hit it and do their thing. So I was very, I was actually very impressed. Now, the choreography, of course, we have the, the move. I love a little, yeah, can you move? Wow, whatever. <laughs> like, right? Like, especially, we gonna shake something. Ah, yeah. Like, I was just like, that thing with the ears. But I was like, I'm, I'm looking forward to see them hopefully grow in the performance aspect throughout their career. Um, but it did make me go, oh, okay. This <laughs> definitely helped make them more positive in, in my eyes these performances short word um you know the gestures definitely cute i love the kitty um the two fingers during the chorus that was cute i think bailey salt uh, salt had a lot to do with the choreography people thought she was going to be in the group i mean this would have been a very interesting group had she uh, had i thought that, that she was going to be in the group they did they, they, they they paying attention to it they made a like, switch yeah i love her yeah they made and switch they were like hey she's in the photo <laughs> Maybe she was supposed to be, but I think probably would have been on a choreographer, choreographer's um, like kind of like standpoint. I don't think she would have joined this group because how many years of servitude? Um, you know, I think for what they're given, this whole like cool tomboy thing, like tomboy princesses, as I I like I I I say that a lot with my own personal like oh tomboy princess like Ali a kind of like very cool you know back and forth chilling kind of like in the cut kind of vibe. That's what they're trying to give here, and I think. For their ages, eh, it's not terrible. I would rather this than them, like, try to be all sexy and scrunching at the camera and, like, trying to, like, you know, lick their mouths and things like that or giving us too many winky faces like some girl groups do or, like, the hair flipping. The dances are going to let them hair flip, and I appreciate that. And I think as a group, they look good. So them being put together was done well because they're not doing too much with their faces. They're doing what they've been taught what the song is asking for the whole aesthetic of the group is that cool tomboy thing and the whole like just staring blankly at the camera and kind of like looking at you like i'm better than you it works for this because the song is literally saying that as well 
Um, I like that they seem balanced as a group as well. Like they have decent chemistry for like for what we know about them, for what we're seeing. Like it wasn't like uh, Suin. I forgot. I think her name is Suin. One of the girls in the dance break that does a little fan kick. She doesn't try to outdance them. You could tell she probably could <laughs> give them something serious, but she's not <laughs> overdoing it. Um, no one's overpowering the other, and I can see their personalities in terms of like who they are in the group. Like you have two girls who are a little bit more elegant. You have that the two girls I mentioned that are like. They give very much leader, very much head of the pack. And then you have a dancer who's kind of like dark and like she has the bangs. She's like the edge lord. I get that from this group. I totally get it. Um, if the, they feel calm for what they're giving with this choreography, it's a lot of emotions, a lot of hair flip. Um, mm -hmm. And the choreo is full out enough for me to not be like, oh, they're being lazy, but also not so full out where I'm like, damn, they're a dance crew. Come on, chill out. Except at the end. The end was like, okay, go ham. I mean, they left, they'll definitely get better. Not bad at all for debut, I would mm -hmm. say. But considering all the elements that were in place with choreographers, I'm not surprised either. So I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. But for what they were given, for them being so young, a couple of them just being models and then hopping into this and being like, okay, I have to sing and dance and dealing with nerves. Not bad. I did watch a vocal performance of them on um, Wendy's radio show. Shaky here and there, but the girls I mentioned earlier, not in and Kawan, actually can hit their notes and they sound good. So, I mean, like, it's one of those things where I'm like, you just started, your kids, you're mm -hmm. singing in a tone that's not technically yours. <laughs> Still trying to find yourself. Like, so I'm a little lenient with their performances because it actually wasn't bad. It made me kind of mm. like pay attention a little bit more. I so, did read some comments on Reddit uh, and yeah. YouTube as well that people say that this song doesn't do justice to their vocal ability no. yeah. at all. I don't really know anything about these girls. Uh, aside from like these few little teaser things that they did. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm excited to see what they do next. Yeah. yeah. So. Should be fun. I do hope that we keep the cat. Like I, like I want the cat oh, yes. throughout the next five singles. I want their, their, the, the yeah. album to be cat related. Like we yeah. like, if we're just going to do it. Like, let's like go for it. Yes. Per the next single whiskers. Give me get claws, claws right. out, pow, Scratch. give me the nails, honey. Scratch. Something. Like, Scratch something. Hiss. Catnip, give me some. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but was Meow good enough to win this round for you then? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Watsa still wins for me. Oh, uh, in terms of performance, yes. In terms of choreography, I say Meow won the choreography. I like the choreography okay. a little bit more, but I think overall, Watsa could dance, so I'll I'll give her it. I'll give it. It's like she she can if you gave her choreography and told her to lip sync, she'd hit the choreography too. So mm -hmm. there's that <laughs> and sing and and shake it like and shake some ass. He's gonna talk about <laughs> shake some. She'd be like shake some. Shake some. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, she is a veteran. Yeah, like Jasmine, you were saying so it is a little unfair to compare yeah. her. Um, Chewie has no excuse. No offense, Ooh. but <laughs> but but yeah, it's a little tough to go against her. But yeah, she kills it for me. So yeah, not bad though. Meow meows. Yeah, yeah. is the fandom name Pop Pop? I've been calling Pop Pop. That's what it should be. Pop Pop. Just I know it's one Pop. Hey, Pop Pop has funny. something to say that about that because she always talking about put your paws up. But you oh. know what? We can just contest that in court. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. Overall winner seems pretty obvious. I don't even have to kind of like yeah. rehash it too too much. Wasa just seems to be the winner. The veteran thing matters absolutely, but the song is for me fully fleshed out. Um, I kind of skipped the order, my bad. But the song is fully fleshed out. Uh, the choreography is there. It's cute enough. She can perform it. She can sing it. The video is nice. Like it has all of the elements of well thought out. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't really have anything to add to that. <laughs> no. Sorry, y'all. No, no, it's I, sad it, that this kid, that it, it was a, it's tough to go against an A class idol. It just yeah. really is. It's just, mm -hmm. she's got the money backing her. She's got sure. her own talent. She's got her own everything. So it's just like, for, especially for Meow, it was just very hard to you, Chewy, I do love you. You're considered a veteran one too, so that's why I think this yeah. that one that kind of it it hurts a little bit more that she was just not not even yeah. even in the running at all. So next time though, see you. Next time, Chewy, fighting. No, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> also, I agree. Fighting, we got the period. Got this. Damn. All right. 
wants moo's paw paws. <laughs> what do y'all think? Be so in the comments or not. It, it's but just know your engagement matters to us. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And also, thank you, Jasmine, for joining us. Would you like to plug yourself one more time for our listeners? Yeah, there is. Um, I'm Jasmine Steven. I am a producer for The Kelly Clarkson Show. If you would like to at me about any of the things I've said here, find me on all socials at Jasmine, J underscore Y-V-O-N-N-E-S. So J underscore Yvonne. Please at me. Come for me. You won't want to, but you can try. <laughs> Go off. She said, I'm going to spell it. By the time they get to the, the first underscore, I'm tired. I'll, I'll, I'll just talk crap about her in the comments. <laughs> I'll find you there too, baby. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> and on business tento. <laughs> oh man. Well, you guys heard it here. We are are also, of course, available on all platforms. And make sure you do comment. Okay. And DM us, because once again, we also do not mind the smoke. Uh, <laughs> so at CCTV Pops to tell us what wins the pop-up for you. Hit those follow and subscribe buttons on all the platforms, honey, because we have some really fun episodes and more guests coming onto the show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Until next time, that's Kids. That's Chantel and Jasmine. And we're signing off from CCTV, the nonstop pop show. Bye.